with, you know, what people are going to respect. Do they know that matchup? Samiz, you know, the first time I saw it, I was like, okay, he's trying something new here. Like, he's trying to see what he can get away with, but no, man. He is a Molina main through and through. Like I mentioned, like, stray hits off a bar. Like, he's going to convert. Even if it's 25%, he's going to convert and make it look awesome. He's going to get the corner switch. He's going to make sure everything is perfect, even if it was a stray, you know, down one or whatever. Absolutely. All he right. In, he's, he plays, he's been playing great for quite some time. He has. Oh, and just right out of range. Look at that. It puts her just at the right amount of distance to make that push whiff. This is going to be an interesting little battle here. And Rivet, if I'm... Rivet Leafing, if I'm remembering right, is the one that eliminated Tweety at the last Combat Cup to make top 16. I'm it's pretty sure. Pressure. Um, I do believe you are correct. Ooh. Is it who he played in the finals? Round two, fight. Um... No, Revit played Scar in finals. You're right. Uh, full auto played against Dragon. Yep. But Revit, you know, he was playing Kobu against against Possessed, it just armoring straight through any time he would read the overhead. And Tweety actually taking dominance here. Oh. The instant overhead. It oh is my. One thing I like to see about uh, Revit is that. He is a true loyalist. He's playing freaking Tanya till till the end. Yeah. And I, I, dude, his Tanya. You, if anybody thought Tanya was dead, play this man. He will show you. This this character is far from dead. He makes it look so fun too. I mean, look at that. <laughs> This stuff is ad like you don't know if he's gonna stay away or come back in. Tweety finally getting a chance to hit some buttons here. Oh! Oh, oh that's punish. Yes, it is. That won't ki oh, he dropped it. Oh, that's that. The low got him. What? Double uppercut for twenty nine percent. What was that? <laughs> wow. Well, it, it, Tweety actually kind of stole that one. Like, he totally stole that one. He had... Rivet had probably 80% of the offense, but again, good defense from Tweety paid off. He didn't have to hit or push buttons as much. He just had to get the most damage when he could, and that's exactly what happened. I think this is a good pick. He switched to Kobu. Um, I think that's a good choice. We'll see if Tweety will be patient with that armor, because Revit will armor right through it with those armored wreckers on a read. Quick. Yeah. Round one. King Teaser, I see you, man. <laughs> I was about to make a joke about make top eight and I'll recognize you, Teaser. <laughs> the savagery has made it to conquest. <laughs> Alright, there is the armor from Tweety. Very nice. Oh, he caught him jumping back. Oh, that was glorious. Ooh. I don't know what it is, and everybody hated Tanya for so long. I love watching Kobu. Oh my god. I just do. Back then, though, that, oh, that character was... It, it was cancer, man. It like, was super cancer. Jesus. I, can't, I wish I could remember what... Oh, very nice. NJP by Tweety. Right after she was found out, you know, everybody found out how good Kobu was, and then the next tournament, 95 Sonic versus, appeal. Som it, it, Sonic versus MIT. <laughs> it was teleport, invincible teleport, invincible teleport versus invincible teleport. Ridiculous. Oh, hang on a second, I'm gonna teleport. <laughs> oh, it was week seven that Revit took Tweety out, uh, combat cup. Oh, okay. Wow, that... Oh, that's gonna do it! Look at this, though, like... Tweety playing his cards perfect. 
I gotta say, Tweety is one of those people also that kind of stepped up. He like, did. A lot of the guys that were top tier in Injust or in Injustice Glorious became top tier in MKX, and now there's whole new wave of like really good young players or new players have really kind of stepped up. Tweety's a part of that. Um, you know, Tweety, the young brother, so to speak, Samij, a ton of these guys. You know, ninety percent of the Noble Squad. Um, right. I mean, seriously. Uh, Dragon, I mean, it's, it's hard to imagine it, but Dragon, because um, <laughs> he seems like he's an OG now. Right, he's, I mean, within the first year, you know, he was, now he, Dragon has, he's had a unique trip around the world, if you will. He's been on Absolutely. a lot of different teams, some of it not his fault, yep. uh, but, I mean, love him or hate him, the guy's been consistent. Like we were talking about, Tanya, that's where his bread and butter was. Oh, and absolutely. Then, and then Tanya, you know, got kind of killed. Ooh. Wow. You show little <laughs> But, yeah, Tanya got killed, and then he's like, okay, I'm I'm going to be... I think he picked Katana for just a little bit, and then Alien came out, uh, and then he was the Alien guy with Rekas. And then Alien got killed, and now he's Katana again, so... Never count that kid out, man. Very nice NJP. Tweety is reading him like a book. No teleports anymore. He is playing Pyro, so it's oh, no. it's just not wow. gonna work, man. Tweety on fire right now. Um, that that was it. That was three. Yep. 